hot one today, guys. So, I am trying to make a dent in these wood chips. Um, so, I'll show you what I got going on. But, because it's so hot, I am definitely trying to stay hydrated. So, I've got my cup here that I'm going to keep with me by my side. But then I also have this, like, one gallon, one and a half gallon, um dispenser I couldn't think of the name the dispenser here with ice water in it so that I can refill my cup as I need to or perhaps you know Zeke might need some water he's got his little dish down here too so um because he's my shadow he, anywhere I go he's right there he's like over by the bush right now so anyway let's go take a look at this wood chip pile and I'm going to show you what I have, what I'm doing. So this is the new wood chip pile. And then this is what's left here. You can probably see where the dividing line is. But this is the old wood chip pile. Well, the first wood chip pile. So what I'm doing with the first wood chip pile is I'm going to flatten it out. So I'm going to bring it this way along this tree line here and I want it to go all the way around the tree and back around and all along the side of the garden. So this wood chip pile is just going to get pretty much flattened and spread out around this tree and around this bush. And that's basically what I'm going to do with that. And then I'm going to start bringing this inside the garden because in that back corner where I have that new bed over there, like all that back corner there still needs to be um, filled in. Like there are some wood chips there, but not a good layer of wood chips. So it's going to be good for me to use these wood chips to go over this top layer of the garden because these wood chips have a lot of big pieces. You can probably see like all those big pieces that are in there. And sometimes when I'm walking through the garden, those big pieces will like stick me like right in the side of my foot. That hurts. But these chip, these wood chips are a little bit finer and they're probably easier to walk on. So if I do a nice layer of these on top of what's already in there, I should be fine. Plus I wanna bring some wood chips over here to this back corner where the rabbits are gonna be. I don't want to cover the space where their compost is going to, well, their manure is going to drop, but around the, you know, around the area is what I want to add the wood chips to. So that's the plan for the wood chip pile. And there's my shadow. Got you a stick, Zeke? You got you a stick? So let's take a look around, see what the other side of this looks like. So you can see the fence line comes pretty much right along with the tree. So all of this is going to get filled in along with all of this. To the tree line and all the way around inside here like you know up to the bush and all all of this is going to be filled in so that's what I'm doing now and then I'm going to come around this way and cover around the base of this tree and put a nice thick layer over here and I'm not raking it because that's breaking my back. So basically what I'm doing is I am filling this bin and then I'm just taking it over here and dumping it. So that's proven to be easier on me and easier on my back. So I got all this done 
here. Around this way and down here, pretty much got that pile flattened out just about anyway. I'm going to probably bring some more in over here. But it's hot and I need to take a break so I probably won't come back to the wood chip pile. But uh, I can see it. I can see the mini orchard taking shape. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. The more you know, the more you grow.